the instruction of Russian President Vladimir Putin, Russia's war against Ukraine has been going on for two months. Putin recognized the independence of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic and Luhansk People's Republic at a ceremony held in the Kremlin Palace on February 21. Addressing the public on television in the early hours of the morning on February 24, Putin announced that they had launched a special military operation in Donbas in eastern Ukraine. Thus began the war of Russia against Ukraine. But the attempt to invade Ukraine is not going as Putin wanted. Bad news continues to come to Putin from the front. In the latest news, the Ukrainian army destroyed the Russian tank with the anti-aircraft missile system Stuna P. According to the information received, Ukrainian soldiers shot the T-72 tank belonging to the Russian armored units, from a distance of about 5 kilometers, using the Stuna P anti-aircraft gun, which fired 152mm guided missiles. The tank has become unusable. Having learned the skills of firing from anti-tank and anti-aircraft missile systems on special simulators, the Ukrainian National Guard continues to successfully apply it in the field. According to the latest reports, Russia continues to move its troops south. The Russian military has announced that it has begun to concentrate its forces in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions in eastern Ukraine to liberate the Donbas, which is the main objective of the special operation. The Ukrainian general staff also confirmed that the Russian army has increased its attacks on Donbas. After the unsuccessful siege of Kyiv, it was learned that Putin changed his target and headed for the port cities.